All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. I also want to give a Shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide, and Shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers, all right? And if you um, peeped or were able to witness uh, the, the previous video uploaded on my page, okay, you will see um, the uh, this basically reiterating the message of our, our previous camp, all right? Our, our, our previous uh, street preaching, that is, okay, of basically going into, you know, a part of it truly going into uh, the two different thousand-year periods, okay, the two different thousand-year periods, all right? And I want to start off with this of, of Revelation chapter 22, uh, verse 18, all right, and it reads, For I testify unto every man that hear of the words of the prophecy of this book, and that's, of course, the Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Okay. And basically uh, teaching, uh, we have false prophets, all right, teaching incorrect things and people and, and uh, basically prophets mouths that must be stopped. Okay. Because of. Uh, incorrect teachings as such of the two different thousand year periods, okay? Uh, basically trying to uh, bring it in one and the same, all right? Basically going into that the Edomites, this is what this is what the response is stemming from, that the Edomites, all right, after, after the thousand years are fulfilled, the Edomites are going to attempt to, to come back into power, okay? The Edomites are going to attempt to, to gather up weapons, all right, where, where, and, that's in, and that's contrary to what the scriptures say. All right. Once the Israelites are delivered out of this captivity, there was there is no there is no attempt from any any heathen nations, especially the Edomites, to rise back into power. Okay. So this is and this is coming from Revelation chapter twenty. Just started from the top. Revelation chapter twenty, verse one. And you see what the the subtitle is or the heading going into Satan being bound. All right. Revelation chapter twenty, verse one. It reads, and I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, all right? That bottomless pit going into Europe, all right? Uh, a very uh, unresourceful land, all right? And a great chain in his hand going into bondage, going into slavery, all right? Verse 2, he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, okay? Bound him a thousand years, verse 3, and cast him into the bottomless pit, so this so the setting and the location of this time period being Europe, okay? Verse 3 says, And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till, so basically until, the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season, okay? So this the, we already have the setting and location being Europe, being that bottomless pit, all right? And who's going to be in subjection? That old serpent, the devil, Satan, all right? Who's the border of wickedness? The Edomites, okay? The Edomites. Let me grab that one. Uh, Malachi chapter 1. Malachi chapter 1, verse, yeah, verse 4, okay? And it reads, look, verse 3. Man, verse 2. Malachi chapter 1, verse 2. And it, look, you see a God loves Jacob, all right? Jacob being a progenitor of the Hebrew Israelites. Who make up the 12 tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. Mm. It says, And he laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Okay? So who's the wicked according to the Bible? All right? Who's ultimately the ultimate deceiver? The Edomites, the nation that is. All right? The so-called white people today. It says, 
and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Yeah, righteous anger against these against this nation of people forever. All right. So going back to Revelation chapter 20. All right. And reading that verse three one more time. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the, the nations no more. Until, it says till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. This scripture of Revelation chapter 20, verse three has been fulfilled. All right. And how and what time period? The Middle Ages, what the, the so-called Dark Ages. All right. An example being a Byzantine Empire. OK, this is why in the school system. All right. In our educational system, we were told about the Dark Ages where you were, where the Edomites would teach that. Oh, this is a period where it was just completely dark. All right, for 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 a thousand, you know, for for years, okay, which is ultimately false. That was truly when the all right, the truly when our people, all right, our bloodline, were ruled, all right, in Europe, okay, in it in it uh to be, you know, particular Eastern Europe, the the Eastern Roman Empire, okay, as it says here, all right. So the and this this is this is going to back up the fact that this this rulership. All right, of our people, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who are truly Hebrew Israelites ruled in the Eastern Roman Empire. Okay, the Byzantine Empire that is being what a thousand, it was a thousand year of rulership. Okay, so it says the Byzantine Empire, also referred to as the Eastern Roman Empire, was a continuation of the Roman Empire primarily in its eastern provinces during late antiquity and the Middle Ages when, when its capital city was Constantinople. It survived the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century AD and continued to exist, to exist until the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire in 1453. Okay, so let's grab, we grab a date. Let's see if we grab a date. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, a date, okay. So yeah, you see the date here. This is it. Let me zoom in. All right. 330, no, 335, okay, let's say, let's say 350, all right, to 453, all right, do, do the addition, do the subtraction, is that not a thousand years, all right, is that not a thousand years concerning the bottomless pit, concerning Europe, okay, concerning this location, concerning this setting, this has been fulfilled, all right, and what, and how did Satan come back into power, let's read that one more time, it says that he should deceive the nations no more until the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. So what's that after that? Uh, what's that? What's that point? The Renaissance period. OK, the Renaissance period. All right. Came right after. OK, it says the Renaissance, which 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 means uh, rebirth. All right. Renaissance means rebirth. OK. And what was rebirth? The power of the Edomites. OK, they came back into power. All right, simple as that. All right, so the Renaissance, it says, is a period in history and a in cultural movement marking the transition from the Middle Ages, a.k.a. the Dark Ages, a.k.a. the, the Byzantine Empire, a.k.a. the rulership, the thousand-year period where the Hebrew Israelites, truly of our, our people, ruled, all right, over the Edomites. They were in subjection, okay? It says to, mar to, to modernity. It says covering the 15th and 16th centuries and characterized by effort to revive and surpass the ideas and achievements of classical antiquity. All right. It says it occurred after the crisis of the late Middle Ages. See, right after, then you had the Renaissance period. Okay. Going to what the, the late, late 14 and 1500s. All right. There you have it loose for that little season. And we are still, and we're at the end of that little season. Okay. We're at the end of that little season. That's why the scriptures say that, that he had, he knew that he had, he had but a short time. OK, but verse four, it read Revelation chapter 20, verse four, it reads, and I saw thrones and they set upon them and judgment was given. Up. So look within the scriptures are right, you have prophecies. It, it, this, this still is a timeline. OK, but it skips. OK, this this verse three has been has been fulfilled. Verse four has not. OK, it says it reads and I saw thrones and they set upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads. This is another reason how we know this hasn't been fulfilled. And are you? This, there must be two ends. Yahweh Shai must be coming back twice for for if, if Esau is going to attempt to come back into power. All right, 
and have and gather up weapons of war. All right, which we know according to Isaiah chapter two, we would a the nations and in, in, in the nation it there will there will we the people of the earth will learn war anymore. Are right, you even going to have animals that are not even going to hunt anymore? They're going to eat the grass. The the the, the they're going to eat off the land. All right, eat off the earth. Okay. It's going to be complete peace upon the earth, man. That's why the nations, the heathen nations at that, are going to respect who's in power. Concerning uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. All right? It says, We had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark in their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. This is within the kingdom, okay? This is going to take place in the kingdom. We're at the end of this loot being loosed a little season. Now, after this thousand years, because the, the thing about the Edomites, they're going into slavery. About the heathen nations, they're going into slavery. Okay? Revelation chapter 13, because that's how we're going to bound them once again. All right? Stemming from, um, it says, after being, what, loosed a, a little season. After that little season is fulfilled, they're going back into slavery. All right? But this time, they're not They're not coming back out. There is. There will be no uh, renaissance era or rebirth period. Okay? This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So after this little this, this little season that we're in now, okay, which we're at the end of, all right, Yahweh Shai is near to return upon the earth. And how do we know this? By, by, by uh, keeping up with the prophecies, okay? Measuring, measuring the prophecies, man. All right, one of those being the MOTB, all right, that Revelation chapter uh, 4 spoke about. Those that did not worship, that did not su submit to the system, to submit to that image, all right, and did not receive of that chip, all right, that, that technology that the, that the government and the Edomites, all right, and the elites of this today's society are going to come with, all right, to implant into your body, all right? Those are going to be delivered. It says, uh, he that lead, leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right, so those that took, took our people into slavery are going into slavery, all right? And all these nations, he's, these heathen nations, all right, had, had taken a part in that and are still taking a part to this very day. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, okay? This is what's going to happen, all right? Concerning the Edomites in particular, I have Obadiah cubed up, all right? You, just, you see the heading, Edom will be humbled, okay? Edom will be humbled. All right. Look, it says the day of the Lord and the future. All right. This is the future. OK. Revelation chapter 20 verse four is the future. This verse three is the past fulfilled, not fulfilled. All right. That's the plan is that is simple as it gets. All right. So after this thousand years, when we reign in Yahweh Shai, this this is going to be this is going to be that's going to be this is going to be the end. All right. Of the Edomites. OK. This is Obadiah chapter one, verse 18. It reads, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So basically, the Israelites are going to be ruling, all right, with that, with that, with that iron, uh, the yeah, that, that iron rod, all right. Okay, it says in the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them because we're going to have them in slavery, we're going to have them in hardcore bondage as they had us, all right. It says, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. Okay, so ultimately after that thousand year period of Revelation chapter 20 verse 4, the Edomites are going to be exterminated. Okay, that's what's going to happen. The Lord is going to completely get wickedness out of the earth. All right, even though they're not going to be uh, performing any wicked acts. All right, because they're going to be under subjection under us. Okay, under the under the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the Israelites. All right, King David included. Okay. But after that thousand year period, and after their, you know, because they have, they have to feel that slavery as well. All right, have to go in that captivity once again. All right, under pure power. All right, we want to receive new bodies. We want to we want to have the the laws and the commandments written with written with our inward parts being perfect under the Lord. Okay, they're going to fully understand the the entirety of our rulership, man. The full grips of it. All right, and, and truly of our power. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see. Um, I think that's that's truly the point uh, concerning. You no, know, just wanted to simply show um, that these were concerning Revelation chapter 20, verse 3 and verse 4 are two different thousand year periods. These are two different thousand year periods, and this is what makes the Bible and the Holy Scriptures hard to understand. All right, that's why the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, has to be dealing with you and understanding, all right, and, and basically guide you 
the right steps and receiving the, 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 the correct understanding from the correct prophets, <laughs> from the righteous prophets and not the wicked ones. All right, because it, that's why the discernment has to be there. That's why a truly the Lord has to be there, you know. So uh, truly, the, um, that's truly the main point concerning the two different thousand year periods. I want to make that distinction. All right, between, you know, uh, you know, Byzantine Empire, the Renaissance era and, and truly the kingdom of heaven. OK, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And also encouraging to you sincere believers. I went out by giving all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kwadash. The honesty of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, Shalom. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Get the face, Shalom.